Kapofi stated that it is high time for the NDF to expand and manifest itself within the scope of modern technology, calling it a paradigm shift in fighting evolution. He underlined the importance of educating men and women in uniform as well as equipping them with necessary knowledge and modern network security devices. Last week, on the 8th of November, we witnessed the graduation of the first intake of the Professional Qualified Officers course in Wolves Bay. Such courses are imperative as we seek to improve and strengthen our force in quantity and quality. We intend to build a modernized defense force designed to be at the cutting edge of our nation's innovation in research and technology. It is essential that as a force we raise the profile of the nobility the nobility role of a soldier. Technology has advanced so much that we can no longer do most things without it. Kapofi advised that the current defense communication system needs to be revamped and that the cutting edge innovation through research and technology should be a top priority. Anyone seeking to attack this country will first target its defense system, which is us. Let us not be oblivious of the fact to the current technological development, especially in space and cyberspace, which are increasingly involved in military confrontations. Echoing the same sentiment was A. Marshal Martin Campbell-Pinias, who highlighted the crucial aspects related to NDF, stressing the need for strategic dialogue to align the force toward contemporary warfare demands. We come here to evaluate ourselves and to determine whether the Namibian Defense Force is ready to defend this country, whether we as Namibian Defense Force are ready to carry out the mandate assigned to us by our people. Tio Porta Nipunya for MBC News, Suakopmund.